What's going on, everyone? Happy Friday to everyone. Hopefully everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long-term issues. It is time now for the Friday morning edition of the Pandemic Update for Friday morning, January 19th, 2024. That's right, I said Friday morning because we're doing two Pandemic Updates today with this first one being dedicated to long COVID. This needs to be done. I think people need to understand just what long COVID is, how serious this is, because let's face it, there is no one, I mean, there is no one that is really taking the initiative to do anything about this. Yes, there was a long COVID hearing yesterday. Is anything actually going to come out of that? Honestly, I don't know. I'm concerned. When's the last time you heard a pandemic briefing from the President of the United States? Why is the WHO not taking this seriously? I mean, on and on it goes. Let me explain. Let's dive into this. First, if you're new to my channel, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. So, we um, pulled up a few things. First off, we pulled up this article that was published back on April of 17th of 2023. Remember that date. That's, you know, about, what, eight or nine months ago? O almost a year ago. April this year is going to be coming up in a couple months. At that point in time, there were at least 65 million individuals worldwide who were estimated to have long COVID. Mind you, that number is constantly going up because cases are ongoing daily. We'll take a look at how fast that number could be potentially going up in the United States in just a bit. With long COVID, there are more than 200 different symptoms. I mean, it can range from anything. We'll actually take a look at the symptoms here. Let's start off. This is Now, this is not a comprehensive list. This is just from the CDC. And many of the symptoms stem from stuff that happens with the initial COVID infection. Tiredness or fatigue that interferes with daily life. What do I mean by interfering with daily life? No, it's not just sitting there yawning and I'm tired today. No, it can get much more serious than that. It can get to the point where you do a couple chores around the house, then that's it. You've used up your energy for the day. That happens for some people. Back in the beginning of my long COVID case, I would sometimes maybe not get to the point where I was just done with energy for the day, but Boy, I just sure would not feel like doing anything. I would just be constantly tired. And everyone gets long COVID differently. Some get it mild, moderate, some get it severe. And for some people, like this next one, it says symptoms that get worse after physical or mental effort or things that get worse over time. So you had COVID, but you never recovered. And now all these new issues are popping up. Yes, that is a real deal that does happen. And I have a website, datareport.info, that has a section of studies on COVID. There's a long COVID section. And it seems like it's been growing as we find out more things that this darn virus can do in the long term. Fever. You know how you get a fever with COVID? For some people, it just keeps coming back at random and never goes away. Yes, that can happen. Respiratory and heart symptoms. Oh yes, there can be all kinds of respiratory and heart symptoms. Difficulty breathing or shortness of breath. Cough, chest pain, fast breathing, fast beating or pounding heart, also known as heart palatrations. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of uh, things that can go on here with just, you know, some basic body or the heart. That's something you need to heart. Lungs. If your lungs aren't functioning properly, uh, you're in big trouble. And some people are being diagnosed with new issues such as asthma, COPD. Maybe they're finding out about something that they did not have before COVID, but more times than not, it's something that's happened because they had COVID. And oftentimes doctors are saying, oh, did you know you have such and such? And they're saying, oh, well, maybe you had this for long. No, 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 no. Let's not try and minimize it. It's more than likely because you had a case of COVID and now you have developed these new issues. Neurological symptoms. There are a ton of them. Difficulty thinking or concentrating, sometimes referred to as brain fog. That is a very common term that you will hear from people who have long COVID. Headaches. That's a common problem. At one point in time, I was dealing with headaches in long COVID. Not getting them as much now, but 
every once in a rare while they still occur, sleep problems, dizziness when you stand up, or lightheadedness. Didn't really have that problem too much uh, post-COVID. However, the last time I was sick, just a couple weeks ago, for whatever reason, I was getting dizzy, which is very unusual. Usually when I get sick, I don't usually get dizzy, but this past going around, I did get dizzy. So who knows? Maybe that was because I have some form of long COVID. I honestly don't know. Pins and needles feeling. Change in smell or taste, which used to be a uh, big deal at the beginning of the pandemic and still is for some people who are the original long haul COVID sufferers dating back to 2020. Keyword. Remember that. I just said 2020. We'll revisit 2020 in just a minute. Depression or anxiety. Yeah, that is a real thing. Why is it a real thing? Well, when you're constantly sick with very little treatment, that's right, you heard me, there's very little treatment for long COVID, and we don't know, honestly, why some people get long COVID at random. Somewhere between 20 to 30 percent of COVID cases go on to develop long COVID at random. It just randomly hits people, no rhyme or reason. And when you're constantly getting sick, you know what? That can be depressing. That can be frustrating. So it can lead to depression and anxiety, digestive symptoms, diarrhea, or stomach pain. Yes, GI issues can be a problem with long COVID. Yet I had a GI specialist tell me personally that, oh, COVID doesn't have GI problems. No, that's wrong. COVID can cause GI problems. It's been causing GI problems since the early days of the pandemic. Other symptoms, joint or muscle pain. Yep, that's a real deal. Say someone was uh, perfectly, let's just say young and healthy prior to getting COVID. Any of these symptoms could happen post-COVID infection, including joint and muscle pain. That means someone who's young, in their 30s, in their 20s, I hate to even say this, kids, they could literally feel like they aged many, many years simply because they had COVID and now they went on to develop long COVID. Yes, it can age you. It can also cause your life expectancy to drop significantly. This is serious. COVID can cause so many different issues. It can develop, long COVID can develop into other forms of illnesses, syndromes, diseases. It, it, it's really bad. Continuing on here, rashes. That is something I have dealt with from time to time. For my breathing, I now take Exolair. That is one of the things that I'm taking. Now, mind you, when I'm telling you what I'm taking, I'm not recommending that you go out there and take anything. Please consult with your physician, specialist, whoever. Remember, I am not a registered doctor. I am not a degree doctor. I'm just telling you my experience. I take a, a drug called Exolair for my breathing. It can also be good for chronic rashes. Now, I currently do not see a dermatologist for rashes. However, for whatever reason, since uh, I want to say the last three, four months now, I've been having some sort of rashes. They went away. Now the last couple days, they've been back again. And Exolar can help with rashes. And I thought it was helping me with rashes, but for whatever reason, they came back again. And I should advise, it's very possible I had a second case of COVID back in September, an asymptomatic case, when COVID was brought into the house yet again. My parents returned from travel. My dad had a case of COVID. I kept testing negative, but it's very possible I had an asymptomatic case because my ears, right right at the same time he was sick, my ears got totally clogged. It was just utterly um, very annoying. It lasted for several, it lasted for two or three weeks, and then eventually it got better, but now these ra this rash issue started up, so who knows. You get the idea here. COVID can cause many different issues, and long COVID can get worse over time. I know someone who currently has long COVID. He was one of the original people to get COVID back in 2021. I shouldn't say original people to get COVID. One of the original people to get a breakthrough case of COVID back in 2021. And, you know, it was pretty bad. He had to be hospitalized. He eventually got better. Now, currently, we talked to him yesterday. He is not doing too well. He's sick. He's coughing a lot. It's not good. I'm, I'm deeply concerned because he's getting up there in age. So hopefully he gets better. But it just goes to show you that COVID, because you've had COVID, 
it can cause any illness that you get to be worse than normal. And his issue he's having right now, they are blaming it on because the fact he has had COVID. All right, let's move on to this now. I see so many people say on Facebook, Twitter, maybe I get told about it personally. Maybe I get a comment about it. People saying, it's not because of the virus. It's because of the vaccine. Oh, it's the vaccine that's causing these issues. It's not the virus. Okay, hello. Wake up and smell the coffee. I want to read this to you. Long COVID is a condition whereby affected individuals do not cover for recover for several weeks or months following the onset of symptoms suggestive of COVID-19, whether tested or not. That's right. When I originally had COVID back in 2020, testing did not exist. This was early 2020, the February, late January into February. There was no testing. You couldn't get tested if you wanted to get tested. And I had all the symptoms of the virus. Food tasted like absolute garbage. I remember eating eggs and I felt like I was eating one of these. I felt like I was eating a Scott towel, not an egg. I mean, it tasted absolutely tar horrible. Coughing was absolutely horrible. It was COVID. Long COVID then set in afterwards. Remember, I'm talking about early 2020. What did we not have in early 2020? The vaccine. The vaccine did not st exist in early 2020. There were many individuals who were getting COVID early on and who were going on to develop long COVID well before the vaccine came to town. Okay? The vaccine was not developed yet. So, yes, do not tell me that, oh, well, it's because of the vaccine. No, long COVID started long before the vaccine was even developed. Okay? Now that we got that out of the way, we have to talk about current cases. Currently, just in the United States, there are estimated to be, these are acute infections. This is not long COVID. This is just daily infections. It's still estimated to be between 1.2 million and 1.5 million daily infections. That is down from the peak, but that's still a lot of infections. That means, yes, many of these people, somewhere between 20 to 30 percent of these people testing positive every day will go on to develop long COVID. So we go back to where we started. 65 million individuals around the world as of April 17th last year. That number is likely much, much higher now. If I had to guess, we're probably, you know, this is a very big wave right now. This is the second biggest wave of the pandemic, not just in the United States, but likely around the world. So at some point this year, that number is going to go over 100 million people. And it is estimated that there are likely over 5 million people just in the United States alone. Maybe maybe many more than that. I'm just estimating here, guesstimating I should say, 5 to 6 million people that already have long COVID. There are million peop millions of people that have had to quit their jobs. No longer can go to work because they cannot do their daily tasks. They can't function properly. Yes, this is destroying lives. I know people who have had to sell their houses because of long COVID. They just can't afford to pay the bills anymore. They had to sell their houses. They had to move back in with family and they just couldn't do it anymore because long COVID was that bad for them. So the moral of the story here is we need to treat long COVID. We need to do more about it. We need to stop bickering politically and politicizing this. We actually need to sit down, have the discussions like they had yesterday in Senate and come up and say, hey, Okay, this is really bad. We need to do something about this. More and more people are going on to develop long COVID. And it's something that is not going to go away. It's something that is not going to stop occurring. And if we don't do something about it, there's going to be so many people with long COVID that the economy is not going to be able to function properly. Do you enjoy picking up your favorite brand of coffee in a grocery store? How about your favorite snack, treat, food or whatever guess what if we let covid continue to go on where are we going to be 10 years from now just five years from now more and more people are going to develop long covid less people are going to be working guess what your shelves at your local grocery store are not going to be stocked properly maybe you like to go to a video game store maybe you like to i don't know do something else guess what they're going to be closed because they're not going to have staff because all the staff are going to be out suffering with long COVID. Maybe you need to pick up something at Walmart or something. Well, guess what? 
it might not be manufactured on time and there may be a shortage because factory workers are suffering from long COVID. You know, factories, offices, places where they have a high number of people working at once, um, close together, continuously getting infected. Each time you get infected, it increases your risk of long COVID. So these long COVID numbers, they're just going to keep going up. I said we'll be at 100 million around the world by the end of this year. By a guess, think where we'll be 10 years from now. Think how many people will no longer be in the workforce. Think how many people may not be able to go on to college because, guess what? They mentally and physically can't do it because they're suffering with long COVID. Think about it. Now that you thought about it, maybe it's time we actually do something about it, okay? And I'm speaking to all of our leaders in the world. The WHO, the CDC, the President, I mean, all these people. We need to declare long COVID an emergency, not just nationally, a worldwide global emergency because it is one. And if we don't do something about it, it's going to come back and bite us. And we're going to wish we did do something about it because it is eventually going to be too late and there are going to be so many people that are disabled, yes, long COVID disables, that guess what? It's going to be too late to do something and we're going to be stuck fending for ourselves even more so than we are now. Alrighty, I will see you all again later on in the day for the daily, regular scheduled pandemic update where we'll give a current assessment of what's going on with daily news, some new CDC data, and other stuff, okay? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel down below. If you know anyone that needs to see this about long COVID, because this is extremely important. I know there are so many people struggling out there. Maybe you've been told by your physician, doctor, that, oh no, it can't be COVID that causes that. Maybe they're not listening to you. Well, guess what? I'm here to listen, and I'm here to try and help and make things better. I'm trying to get the message out there that, hey, we need to do something about this because it is really serious. Okay? I will see you all again later this afternoon for the Daily Pandemic Update. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.